guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my July TBR. I realize this video is a little bit late. I don't have an excuse, that's all there is to it, it's late. But I still want to talk about the books that I'm planning to read in July. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. I am a writer and a freelance editor. Uh, hopefully this month we can read some books. July is a little bit of a tricky month for me because one, I have a lot of editing clients and two, it's Camp NaNoWriMo, so I'm writing a book this month. But by the day I'm filming this, which is the 8th, I've already read two books, so like we're off to a decent start, so we have some hope. So I didn't put too many books on this list. One, to not overwhelm myself in case I don't get that much reading done, but also two, just to leave myself open for my mood reading tendencies so I can swap in something random at the last minute if I so choose to do so. So choose to do so. I'm an editor. I'll have all of the books that I talk about today linked down below in the description if you want to go check them out yourself. And let's just keep this intro short and get straight into the video. First and foremost, thank you so much to today's sponsor book of the month. Book of the month is a monthly subscription service that allows you to choose the book that you receive every single month. You go onto their website and they have five options that you can choose from. They pack it up in this cute blue box, ship it straight to your door for free. And it's a great way to introduce you to titles that you're not already familiar with. They often have debut authors. They have a lot of romance, thrillers, basically all of the genres that I like to read. If none of their selections really suit you one month, you can also skip it with no penalty to you. It's $15 a month, but they have a coupon code that you guys can use. I'll have it down below in my description. Free shipping, $10, a brand new hardcover. I've been using Book of the Month for over a year now and I have found so many books that I love through their subscription service. And they were kind enough to send me all of their different picks for this month so I could show you guys what books they have available for July. So the first book I have to show you is a romance book called Head Over Heels and look how cute this cover is. And this sounds like right up by Allie. The little description is missing the 2020 Olympics. Here's your fix of long-standing rivals, gymnastic routines, and inter-athlete love. It sounds like so much fun. It sounds like it's gonna be like enemies to lovers. We got gymnastics. It kind of reminds me of that TV show Make It or Break It, which I used to love. So it sounds like it's gonna be really fun. The next book I have to show you is also right up my alley because it's a thriller and it's called The Shadows by Alex North. Ever repeat Bloody Mary in the mirror three times? This is the creeptastic thriller for urban myth believers. I love creepy books and I love thrillers. So creepy thrillers, that's like my perfect genre. Next we have a non-fiction title and this is also from a debut author called Big Friendship How We Can Keep Each Other Close. Grab your BFF. This book explores female friendship from all angles including its highs, lows, and rewarding feels. I've been trying to read more non-fiction this year. It's not something I typically gravitate towards on my own admittedly but this sounds great. We're all about the female friendships around here. That's something I always enjoy in books. I was so excited that this was included in their July picks because I was gonna buy this book anyway. I've been really looking forward to this one and that is Mexican Gothic. A new take on gothic suspense that displays the horrors of colonialism against a dreamy read nightmarish backdrop. And this is horror so we know I'm gonna love this one. And then the final pick for July is The Beauty in Breaking and this is a memoir. Forget Grey's Anatomy. Here's the real story of an ER doctor's life from injustice and heartbreak to healing and hope. So this book is written by Michelle Harper and she is an African-American emergency room physician in a profession that is overwhelmingly male and white. So yeah, those are all of the picks for July for Book of the Month. I'll have a link down below in the description. Don't forget to use that code to get $5 off if it's your first box. Now let's get straight into my TBR for this month. Because we're a little bit late, I guess we'll start with the books that I've already read. So the first book that I read this month was You Are Not Special by Megan Rinks and this is like a memoir kind of self-help book by Megan Rinks. So if you're not familiar with her, She's a YouTuber. She has a podcast called Don't Blame Me that I listen to all of the time. And I've been following her since I was a teenager. So I was really excited to pick up her book. Obviously this isn't a wrap up, so I won't get too much into what I thought of it. But yeah, I would say it's a pretty equal blend of self-help and memoir. I think the memoir part is a lot stronger than the self-help part. But you do get both of them and if you want to listen to the audiobook she narrates it herself so I really enjoyed reading it that way. And I think she has some really good insights in here like I wouldn't just write it off because it's a YouTuber's book. She's got some really good chapters on anxiety, depression, she's got like a really hard family situation so I found there to be a lot of relatable material in there. She's also like a huge advocate for therapy so there's some stuff on that in there. So that was the first book for this month. The second thing that I read this month I think is cheating to call it a book. It was a short story. I just didn't realize that at the time. It was The Seduction of Molly O. Flattery by Sierra Simone. I was just like randomly going through all of these freebies that I got on my Kindle. This is free on Amazon right now also. And I picked it up because I recognized the author, Sierra Simone. I've read a couple of her books before and I didn't realize that this was the weirdest book for me to pick up within this like series kind of because she has this one series. I don't, I haven't read it. I don't know what it's called. Something Ivy Lavold. And then there's this kind of companion series following characters from that first series, which is about Molly O'Flattery. 
and this thing that I read was like the short story prequel to the second series so I read the middle thing I don't know why but both series from what I understand are historical romances and this prequel short story was basically just one sex scene between these two characters who I think end up being important in the second series I don't know maybe I'll go back and read the two series that this was relating to to understand what the heck I just read. So moving on the next book on my TBR is our book club pick. I run a book club over on my Patreon page and my patrons this month voted for Clapany Land by Elizabeth Acevedo and I'm really excited that this one won because I wanted to read it anyway. Elizabeth Acevedo is quickly becoming one of my favorite authors. I read With the Fire on High earlier this year and I read The Poet X when it first came out so I've been really looking forward to this one. She narrates her audiobooks herself so I'm definitely gonna be listening to this on audio and I don't really know what this one is about and I know that's a annoying when booktubers like don't know what the books are about to tell you but I'm kind of purposefully going into it blind so I'm sorry. I believe it's about two sisters who don't know about each other. That could be wrong but I'm pretty sure that's what it's about and it's a young adult contemporary and I think it might be written in verse. Either way I've heard really good things about it too. I've seen a lot of people that I follow giving it really good reviews so I'm very excited for this one. The next book that I would love to get to this month is Girls with Razor Hearts by Suzanne Young. This is the sequel to Girls with Sharp Sticks which was one of my favorite books that I read last year. I don't know why I haven't picked this one up yet. I'm a little nervous going into it that I'm not going to remember enough from the first book and I'm going to be confused so we're gonna jump in and hope for the best. Hopefully I'm not too confused. The first book was like Westworld meets The Handmaid's Tale. It was about these girls in this really weird secluded private school that taught them how to be prim and proper young ladies but like didn't actually teach them any actual subjects other than like manners and stuff. You know immediately that there's something off about this school and that's really all you need to know going into it in order to not spoil anything but I really really enjoyed the first book. So obviously I don't think I can give you a summary of the second book without spoilers but if you haven't read the first book in the series yet I would highly recommend. I really really enjoyed it. This next book I am hesitant to mention because I don't want to let anyone down if I don't get to it. I want to read or reread Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead this month. I know. If you haven't been around for a while, I started rereading all of the Vampire Academy books last year. I don't know. It was a while ago. I made it through the first three books and I made like a spoilery reading vlog for each one as I was reading it. And then I moved and my whole like job situation changed. So it was basically just like a really bad timing kind of thing. And so I never ended up picking up the fourth book and people have been asking me about it ever since. And I have full intentions of getting back into the series because I also want to go on to reread the Bloodline series because I like that one even more than Vampire Academy. So I'm saying it in this video to hold myself accountable. We're going to get it done this month. It's going to happen this month one way or another. We're going to do it this month. We're going to finally pick up Blood Promise, especially because I remember this being one of my favorites in the series. If you don't know what Vampire Academy is about, it's a very old, very popular series that I read forever ago and it's one of my all-time faves. Would highly recommend picking it up if you like paranormal romance and vampires. There was a movie made out of it. The movie was not I don't even want to say the movie was bad because I know a lot of people liked the movie but the movie is not a good representation of the books. I'm not even gonna say I really want to or I'm really gonna try to read this book. We're gonna read this book this month finally and I'm really hesitant to say any other books in this video because knowing what my schedule looks like this month I just don't think I'm gonna get to them but okay one more that I would really love to read. If not this month I'm gonna read it next month. Like I'm really excited about this release and that is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. I think you guys have probably heard of this book. I feel like this cover has been everywhere lately. It has a great cover for one thing and also the book sounds like really really cute and fun. But basically our main character Liz is, wants to become a doctor but in order to afford school she needs a scholarship that is awarded to prom king and prom queen and that's like not her jam at all but she goes through with it anyway because she's really determined to get the money and in doing so I think she starts to fall for one of the girls who's her competition so this sounds like it'll be really cute and really fun I'm really looking forward to it I have the audiobook saved on Scribd by the way most of these books that I'm reading this month if you're interested in them are on Scribd but anyway this is a relatively short audiobook I want to say it's like seven hours long so we might be able to squeeze this in just by listening to it you know on and off throughout the month so that's gonna be it for this month's TBR. We'll see how I do. I actually did pretty well 
in June with my TBR, even though I didn't think I was going to. So maybe there's hope. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to hear down below in the comments any books that you've read lately that you loved or books that you're hoping to read this month. If you need some inspiration or an extra book to throw onto your TBR, my book came out last month. It's called The Anti-Virginity Pact and it's a young adult contemporary novel. It's a small self plug, but yeah, there's a ton of links and stuff down below in my description for all kinds of stuff if you want to come follow me elsewhere. And if you're new here, maybe subscribe and stick around. I would love to have you. But other than that, I think I'll just see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye. So hit me. So hit me. So hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With